When you know how wide of a sofa will fit against your wall, you'll feel confident when you buy a sofa that it'll look and feel fabulous in your space. Hi everyone, it's Carol, and I'm here with another great decorating question. And today's question is, how wide should my sofa be to fit against a wall? I'm gonna provide you with some simple steps so you can figure out what size will work on your wall. So let's get started. So to find out how wide of a sofa will fit against your wall, there are a couple steps that you'll take. One is you're going to plan ahead of time where you're gonna place that sofa against the wall. And then you're gonna set aside space on either side of the sofa. And then you'll measure the width of the wall. So after you complete these steps, then you'll be able to use this information to figure out the perfect width of sofa that you'll need for that wall. So the first step is to plan ahead of time where you're going to place the sofa on the wall. And the most straightforward, uh, most balanced look that you can give to your room is if you just place the sofa in the center of the wall. So the next step is making sure to set aside space on either side of the sofa. So for a floor lamp or end tables or a plant. And when you do this, you'll wanna make sure you set aside the same amount on either side of the sofa. And that way you're keeping that nice unified and balanced look to the furniture arrangement. So in my example, I'm gonna set aside 24 inches on either side. And when you know what you'd like to place on either side of the sofa and how much space that's going to take, you wanna make sure you add in some wiggle room. So making sure, say for instance, your side table just doesn't sit right up against the sofa, that there's some space around each of the pieces of furniture. So if your little uh, end table is 20 inches, then I would plan on 24 inches on either side. So you can place the end table and then even the lamp on the other side centered within that space. And the last step to find out how wide your sofa should be to place against a wall, you'll want to measure the width of the wall. So in this example, the width of this wall is 10 feet wide. So now that we know, you know, the width of the wall and that we're gonna place the sofa in the center of the wall and we're setting aside an equal amount of space on either side of the sofa, we'll be able to figure out what size of sofa we can buy. So in this example, the wall width is 10 feet wide and I'm gonna set aside four feet total. So, you know, two feet on either side of the sofa. And doing some simple math, I'll be able to subtract the four feet from the 10 feet, and then I'll be comfortable knowing that I can fit a six foot wide sofa in that space. And, you know, a six foot wide sofa generally will um, allow plenty of space for three people to sit on the sofa comfortably. So since I did a little planning ahead of time, I'll be able to buy a six foot sofa and then when it arrives, I'll center it on the wall and then I'll know that I have plenty of room on either side for my furniture. And when I finish the room and add in artwork or plants, I'll be happy with how that looks and feels. So to find out how wide of a sofa will fit against your wall, just keep a couple things in mind. Plan that the sofa will be centered on the wall and that you'll have the same amount of space on either side of the sofa and then measure the width of the wall. And then just doing some simple math, you'll be able to figure out what size of sofa will fit perfectly there. Do you have any suggestions for future videos? Let me know in the comments.